What's going on guys? This is Goofy Goop the Balls bringing you guys a 114 kill gameplay playing Safeguard on Breach where I'm going to share with you guys 6 tips that I use and I'm using in this gameplay to help me get more kills in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So we're just going to jump right into it. The first tip I want to give you guys is you want to play Safeguard and if you can play Safeguard on Ground War. So there's three main reasons you want this, and one is obviously if you're playing ground war, there's more people to kill, and at the end of the day, that's going to get you more kills. The second main reason is that it's very easy to force four rounds in safeguards, and as you know, the first two rounds are five minutes apiece, and if those end in a draw, then you go into overtime, and those also have the potential of being five minutes long, which gives you the potential to have a 20 minute long game, and the more time you're in the game, the more kills you're going to be able to get. Now, the third reason is pretty much the most important reason, and that is that everyone tunnel visions the objective. And if you don't know what that means is people just pretty much mindlessly run at the robot to play offense or mindlessly stare at the robot to play defense and totally ignore pretty much everything else around them. And this makes it very easy for you to get kills if you know how to do that. And that leads me into my second tip is you want to flank the enemy in this game mode. And I cannot stress this enough guys, flank, 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 that's pretty much all you should be doing in this game mode, and you can see that's the majority of what I'm doing in this gameplay. Because everyone's just staring at the objective, it's going to be very easy to get behind the enemies, and when you shoot them in the back, you're going to get pretty much uncontested kills. And as you can see here, I'm sure numerous times, I get behind three or four enemies, and I'm able to just shoot and kill them all, and none of them even turn around and notice that I'm killing anybody. So even if it takes you out of the action for a few seconds, just keep keep flanking because it's going to get you very easy kills and going to make it very easy to get high scoring gameplays like this. So the third tip pretty much plays right into the second tip and that's that you want to use perks like Ghost and Hardwired. The reason for this is when you're flanking the enemies, it's only going to be harder if you're on the minimap all the time constantly and they're able to see you and it's going to make it a lot harder for you to flank. And especially with Hardwired, a lot of people use Sixth Sense. So it's very important to stay off of their mini-maps and avoid their Sixth Sense perk using Hardwired. Because if you get behind them and they know you're coming with Sixth Sense, then flanking is pretty much useless and you're not going to be able to get easy uncontested kills. So the fourth tip plays right in with these two, and that's that you want to use a suppressor and you want to use an SMG. Because you're flanking, you're going to need to move around the map pretty fast, so an SMG is going to give you that mobility and allow you to get around faster. And you obviously want to use a suppressor so you can stay off the minimap when firing, so you can get those easy uncontested kills without letting the enemies know that you're around. Moving on to the fifth tip is you definitely want to run low score streaks in this game mode. Safeguard only gives you 50 points a kill, so getting a UAV is going to be something like 8 kills or so. So what I recommend for score streaks is definitely run uh, UAV and care package, and then the third one you can do whatever you want. I usually go with like something like a lightning strike or a house storm. Because Safeguard is a game mode where enemies really clump together, especially towards the end of the round where the enemies almost scored, if you call in a Lightning Strike or a Hellstorm, you're pretty much guaranteed to get 3 or 4 kills. As for the UAV and the Care Package, the UAV is always just going to help you kill enemies and know where they are so you can flank more effectively. And the Care Package, if you get a couple in a game, you have a pretty decent chance of getting one that's going to get you a lot of kills. And as you see in this gameplay, I managed to get the wraps out of the Care Package, which definitely helps me get kills in this game. So on to the last tip I have for you guys, and that's use a specialist that can deal a lot of damage in a concentrated area. So this would be specialists like the gravity spikes or the war machine or something like that. Because like I said about the hellstorm, enemies are really going to clump together in this game mode, and especially towards the end of the round when the robots almost scored, everyone's going to be rushing towards the objective. And if you have something like the gravity spikes or the war machine, you're going to be able to kill pretty much most of those enemies, and I've seen tons of people get 6-man, 7-man, even 8-man kills with both of those specialists. So definitely have those equipped when you're playing this game mode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these tips, and they're going to help you get more kills in Black Ops 3. And if you did enjoy this video and this 114 kill gameplay, I'd love it if you could leave a like on this video, and maybe leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button so you can get more Black Ops 3 videos from my channel. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.